All right, welcome back. This is the last part of a little pumpkin making where I'm just going to take care of the stalk of the pumpkin here on the top. Now, we don't have to be in rendered mode. Let's just go to regular solid view there. Um, let's do a little zoom in. What we want to do is we want to select what you see here. We want to select this edge loop on the top, and we're sort of just going to build from there quickly and make a stalk. I'll do it quick. You can take more time if you want yours to be good. Now, the way to get this, let me just Alt-A, pretend I have nothing selected. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to work off this top edge here. Hold the Alt key. Edge is selected and select that there. And it should go around and it grabs the entire loop. That's good. And now I just want to build off this. Now my building ways, it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to do a bunch of extrudes, scales, rotates, and sort of build up to my stock. So here we go. Let's do a little E for extrude. Now this is what it's done. Um, what I want to do is scale it in a lot though. So let's do a little, let's do the same level, maybe even down a little bit, and let's scale. I'm going to say 0.5, so it comes in. And then I'll just select that. I'll do G to grab Z. Oh, I still have proportional editing on. So let me just hit escape to get out of that. Um, there's my proportional editing there. Let me turn that off. I did not want that to happen. All right, let's try again. I still got that loop selected. Hit G, Z, and down a little. I'll do an extrude, down a little, scale, 0.5. Okay, maybe that's a little too much. How about 0.2? Scale point nine, maybe. There we go. And now what I want to do is start building up. E to extrude. Come up a little, and I'm doing a little bit of an angle. If you want to do a little rotate, rotate x-axis. Let me try the y. There, rotate y. Yeah, you can give it a little bit of a tilt. Come on. I think get the general idea here. I'll do an extrude. I'll come up. I'll scale in a little. I can do a rotate Y again. This is easier if you start with the mouse a little farther away. Um, I'll do an extrude, come up, scale, extrude, come up, scale, maybe rotate Y, a little tilt. Anyways, you see how I'm building this up here. Um, you don't need to watch me do this over and over. So you just keep going and build up your stock on your own like that until you get to the top. You can even add some Z rotations there, so R, Z. You know, you can make it a little subtle twist, right, to the stock as you're going up. And, you know, just keep repeating that. All right, so I just sort of topped mine off there. I'm not totally happy with it, but I'm not going to redo it. So here we go. Now what we want to do is, if we actually just go into rendered mode, we can see our stock, and out of edit mode, our stock is orange. So back in the edit mode, Back in the solid here, I'll go to material maybe. I don't want this to be orange. So here's what I want to do. I want to select all these faces of the stock, and I just want to assign a different material to it. And so what I get is I can just paint it brown. So let's go for this. So to get all these faces selected, what I want to do is I'm going to hold, go to face select. I'm going to hold the alt key and the shift key. And so shift and alt held, and I'm going to select those faces, it goes all the way around, just because it's a very neat sort of face loop I've created here. And I'm just going to select all the faces. There we go. Pretty well have all of them. That's good. Now with all those selected, what I want to go is to the Materials tab of my, of my sphere. And I want to set the materials to a new material. So go to the Materials tab, create a new material slot. So there's a new empty slot. I'm going to fill it with a new one, so new. And I got Material 4. Um, for Material 4, make sure that's the one selected. Just going to scroll down a little here. And you can set the base color. And brown is a shade of orange. So you can go to orange and then take this down until it looks a little more brown. If you want to go to Rendered now, you can go to Rendered. Um, and I guess one final thing we've got to make sure to do, this new material I just created, assign it to those faces. Okay. Now you can hit Alt-A, so they're not selected, and you can go back to your color here. You can see it is 
it is working um, as you click the different colors and let's just go back to our brown we had so there's our orange turned down to some like brown level I guess that's as good as we're gonna get for our brown and that's really it I'll go out of edit mode and there's our brown stock pretty good now that's really it what you have there is you have your pumpkin if we're in rendered mode you rewind you hit play not bad hopefully you learned a few little tricks there um, if you wanted to take this material and do the same thing with the nodes to make the stock a little rougher you know you can make it a little rougher uh, hopefully you learned a little bit there with the graph editor the lights uh, just little tricks with the modeling anyways there's your Halloween pumpkin. I don't think I'm going to tackle this part right down here, like why the light is shining through the pumpkin. You'll actually see this on Google a lot, people asking why in the world would a light go through the solid material. Um, I don't even want to deal with that here. This was more about just getting the little model of the pumpkin and showing you some tricks. Anyways, thanks for watching, and there is your pumpkin.